Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Every other year, the Heckscher Museum of Art in Huntington exhibits the best work of local artists at the Long Island Biennial. The Biennial is special because it's Long Island artists and it has an array of work that ranges from sculpture to drawing to printmaking um, to found objects to mixed media. Today, the museum is hosting an event where the public gets to have a talk with three of the artists in this prestigious show. And each one of them did very unique works that were completely different from each other, and we thought that that would bring the best um, insight to the artist's mind to our people. The thing that we hope most happens with it is that um, the audience will actually understand some of the, the, the work the insight, the thought process that actually goes on with an artist when they create a work. First up is Margaret, a talented photographer that is hyper aware of her surroundings. I went to Long Island University post and I worked with Arthur Leipzig. He was the, head of the chair of the art department at the time. Just jump ahead one picture to show you what was in my master's thesis, dinner napkins. And the next one was the luncheon napkins. So what I basically did is I photographed whatever I had around my house. They said the artwork had to be done within the last two years. And I did paper a long time ago. So I said to myself, you did it once, why can't you do it again? So I chose coffee filters to do. And then you take all these pictures and you look at them and you say, ah, that's it. You know, that's why I like paper. You don't really know until you've actually printed it, what you have. The people that exhibit here are very, very talented. And so for me to be able to come here was a big pleasure. It was a great pleasure. Second to the podium is Paul, an introspective multimedia artist. I've been working on a series of architectural pieces, sort of houses that are sort of about the size of a dollhouse. The more I darkened the lights, I found that people had to forced to interact with them, which is really a big part of them. I wanted to see how people interacted with what they were seeing, if they were getting it. Well, I've been working on a series, and this is one of them, house pieces that are made out of recyclable materials. And um, they're all about interiors and exteriors, about how we peek inside and there's a whole s s scene going on inside, sort of dirty little secrets that are happening. Outside it may appear like a regular house, but inside there's a, a story going on that deals with some kind of social commentary. It, it's, it's really nice because I just recently moved to Long Island and I felt kind of lo lost here and left and I really, it was nice to see that this is a really big community and such diversity in the artwork. And finally, another Margaret. She discussed her art using color pencils. I had color pencils in my classroom and I said, you know, I'm like, I'm an oil painter, I'm a whatever painter, you know. How am I going to take this ditzy, stupid medium and make it important? And then I spent the next 14 years trying to make it important. I had just gone through a big period of time where I was working with these birds called Brackle. I ran into them in Puerto Rico on a trip to Puerto Rico and I saw their interactions as human-like. They fascinated me. I took hundreds and hundreds and thousands of pieces of pictures of them. Whenever I'm done with a piece, I'm like, don't put in a grackle. But the grackles keep coming up. And as I said, they're not menacing things. They're playful things. They're company. They are ruining the work as well as helping with the work. Everybody knows about the biennial who lives, lives near here. And it is something to strive for as an artist. And there are amazing artists that put work into the show or try to get it into the show. Proud to be here. If you want to see firsthand the state of visual arts on Long Island, you must attend the biennial. And if you missed it, there's always next year. Or more accurately, there's always the year after next. <laughs>